Heading to the close with the Dow down 14. Joining us, Mark Martiak from Premier Wealth, First Allied, and Bob Pisani is here with us at Post 9 as well. And Mark, we've talked about this rise in yields and the treasuries. And you're pointing to maybe one of the causes is the continued rise of the euro as well. The dollar has stumbled here too, right? Yes, exactly. Well, on a day like today, Bill, when the euro, uh, when the dollar stumbles because of weak, weak retail sales and the euro pops up, there's a, there's a correlation. Bond prices tend to go down, yields tend to go up. And I, I think if we see some more of that, uh, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see a rise in equities as well. Bob? I think the important thing right now is the markets are really rattled because we can't separate the threads and why yields are going up. I think the German Bund rocketing up created that relative value play that's really got people a little spooked. I think there may be some fundamental issues in the United States. Maybe telegraphing inflation is stronger than expected. And finally, I think there is simply concerns about liquidity. That's a third factor that's played in here. We can't quite figure out which one is the most important factor, and that's what's causing a lot of the confusion right now. What's mm -hmm. causing this lack of liquidity? I mean, there's still supply coming to market right now. Are people just sitting on their hands, or what's going on, do you I think? I believe investors are waiting and seeing what's going on. Coming out of a, a quarterly earnings uh, season, you tend to find that there's a lot of head headline risk, whether it's Greece, the lack of liquidity that you just referenced, uh, the euro, the strength against the dollar, the weak retail sales numbers. Right. Uh, we do have great employment numbers, obviously. There are a lot of positives in the market, so you'll tend to see a lot of sideways trading action. I didn't see a lot of positives today. I mean, that retail sales numbers was so disappointing. Four out of five months, we've been flat to down now. Only in March, where we had good Easter sales, did we really see a move to the upside. And frankly, a lot of other people were saying, this bull story for retail, that employment's getting better, that the inventory is low, that people, the traffic is increasing. We didn't particularly hear that from Macy's or Ralph Lauren. I want to hear J.C. Penney after the close. Yeah. Was that supposed to be the turnaround story? Uh, we better hear some nice comments there. All right, you, you guys stay right there. We're going to come back, bring these guys back for the closing count. And I did not mention earlier, but Art Cashin said that the, right now the, the imbalance going toward the close was to the sell side by 800 million, which is a big number, but he felt like most of that was pairing off right away. So there is some demand, even as stocks want to sell off here. Perhaps why we're hovering. We're still down 13 points, but not a whole lot more movement. We'll see if that changes in the next five minutes.